Hi there, guys, we did already some nice videos on the knee pain syndromes on our bike fit playlist, but on this episode, I would like to just shortly address one important issue that one of the viewers, Brian, uh, is mentioning on his comment. He's saying he does experience uh, some really bad inside knee pain, but Brian says he did have some kind of a hip injury or a leg in, uh, injury. So uh, we don't even know what kind of injury it was, whether it was a crash or some, some other problem with, with his um, hip and, and leg and perhaps uh, a body. Uh, but I'd like to just tell you one like general rule of thumb when you experience the injury and then you feel that something on the bike doesn't feel right. Injury means spastic muscles. So uh, if you have had any kind of injury anywhere, any kind of crash, you should remember that now you have to be focusing on strength and flexibility like 10 times more than before the injury. Because uh, for example, Brian had any, some kind of the hip injury, that means that uh, all the muscles around that area will be trying to protect this area so we are not using uh, a broken or any kind of problem, broken uh, bone, any kind of problem here, we are not using this part uh, too much, so those muscles get tight. But uh, as we heal the problem, the problem doesn't longer exist, like uh, we, don't, we, we no longer have a broken bone, the muscles just stay tight and they get even tighter and they get spastic, meaning that they contract and they stay like that. So Brian, if you have, if you experience knee injury, knee, uh, knee pain, knee would be the first area that reacts to any kind of lack of balance uh, in terms of strength and, uh, and the flexibility of our muscles. So you should really address this, this issue. Going to physical therapist and checking the flexibility, um, comparing left and right side would be a great idea. But you can also check it by yourself. Um, try to do like general exercises um, for stretching exercises and then perhaps you will, you will feel the difference between right side and the left side and stretch and stretch and stretch. So if, you're, if your hip is already okay and you are just free to do whatever you want to, you should be trying to be much, much more flexible. Other thing is also that if you had any problems with your hip, it's a really good idea to check the length of your leg, the left, the left one and the right one, and the position of your pelvis. Because we, we should remember that we can only produce as much of the power with our legs as we can withstand with our pelvis, or we can, we can um, stabilize with the pelvis. Because as we are pushing to the pedals, our back, our different muscles, chains of the muscles have to stabilize our pelvis. So that's super important issue. What I would suggest uh, before you go and you pay for some, some, for some physical therapist, you can just have someone at home, if you have turbo trainer, like I do here, have someone filming you what, while you are pedaling under load. And perhaps you will see that, as you're saying, your toes are really going too much outwards. That can cause the inside uh, knee pain, but also you can maybe see that you are bouncing with your pelvis too much. So maybe the saddle uh, has been or had been adjusted to like one side, one of your legs, but the other one, which is not uh, like 100% uh, okay now, uh, should have this saddle in diff on different position. So check it out. Uh, if you're not having the turbo trainer, just go out and ride and have someone in, with the GoPro on the handlebar uh, filming you from the back while you are really tired and and pushing hard on your pedals. It will tell you a lot about the balance of your body. All right, so it doesn't matter, hip injury or any kind of injury, even on the upper body, we should remember those muscles on that area will, will really be getting spastic if we're not really taking care of the stretching flexibility and strength as well. So this is just the additional information for all of us because we always fall, we have different kind of crashes, even though we don't break something maybe, sometimes we do experience a lack of balance and then some pain 
can really come up. And as I said, the knee will be one of the first area for the cyclist on our body that will tell us something is wrong. So it's even good that we are cycling and we know that there is some problem with the flexibility and strength most, most uh, likely. So that's what I wanted to tell you, Brian, and uh, all the viewers, cyclists, let us know in the comment sections, uh, section, what, the, what kind of problems did you experience and how did you solve it? What did really help you? Uh, so all other cyclists will really appreciate, appreciate that, including me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.